What up, what up, what up? Trees up. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? This is Ms. Degrees, new trees representing the forest. Trees up. Yes, yes, yes. Another day, another day. Turn a blind eye to the facts and, and the truth shall let you see. Kind of things, but guess what I'm doing today? Bonus coverage. So bust it. Let's get to the point. It's going to be quick, fast, and to the point. So you know, Yingling dropped this Hershey's Chocolate Porter. Yup, yup, yup. They dropped that Hershey's Chocolate Porter. You know, usually I'm a foodie, but I love beer, too. Miz loves some beer. Y'all got to understand that. Yingling dropped this. Now, y'all know where I'm at, right? I'm in my car. I do not condone in drinking and driving because I'm not driving. I'm sitting in the car. And I just wanted to show this to y'all. So I'm going to sit in here and I'm going to crack this brewski for y'all. <laughs> Yingling Hersley Chocolate Porter. Let's get on with the basics. So, you know what I'm saying? This is a porter beer. Again, so so, so, so y'all mugs that drink, if y'all claim y'all drink beer, you know what beers are. Porters are kind of on the thicker side. Okay? So if you are a Bud Light drinker, you a Corona drinker, you a Heineken drinker, and that's what you drink. You stick to that kind of stuff unless you want to try different things. Me, I am a craft beer drinker. I like craft beer. I like porters. I like stouts. I like IPAs. I like that kind of stuff. So if you're into, you know, domestic beers and all that stuff, power to you. But this is a different kind of thing. Do not drink this thinking that you're getting a Bud Light or a Heineken or a Corona or a regular Yingling. Regular Yingling can fly. A regular Yingling is a lager. Think you're getting a, a, a yingling. You're not getting a yingling. This is a porter. A porter is thicker. It's darker. Okay? So don't be drinking and say, oh, it's Hershey. Y'all, oh, man, it was nasty. Nah, you learn to drink your beer the right way. With all that said, let's crack this mug open and see what it's hitting for. Oh, you see that smoke come out that thing? Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. That's when you know beer is delicious. When you see that smoke come up at that mug. Me? I like to smell mines. <sighs> the sweet smell of porter. You can actually smell chocolate in this thing. Again, you must like beer. Not bad at all, Yingling. Not bad at all. A good porter flavor beer. You can actually taste the Hershey's. It's not strong. Now, let me put this to y'all. You have to appreciate the taste of beer. For you to enjoy this. You're not just going to get a beer and say. I got to say this to y'all. Man, I'm doing a drink, man. You can taste the chocolate in it. Like I said. You have to appreciate the taste of beer. I'm not telling you that the beer is going to taste like chocolate. I'm not telling you that the beer is going to taste like chocolate. You can taste the chocolate in this beer. But you have to be a beer taster. You have to appreciate it. Me, I have my way of drinking beer. Anybody that know me know. I sniff it. This big old schnauzer of mine. Sniff it. Excuse me. I take a little bit. I let it sit on my tongue. And when you let it sit on your tongue, you taste that chocolate. But you taste that porter taste. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm impressed with this. Because I honestly thought it was going to taste like... Like, I thought it was going to have a coffee taste to it. Then I had a coffee taste to it. You know, stouts usually have coffee to them. You know what I mean? Coffee taste. But some porters have that, like, uh, they're good, but it has a taste to it. This, it tastes like 
chocolate. And the more I drink it, like the more the bottle, go, the beer goes out of the bottle, the more I taste chocolate. You be a G about the situation. <laughs> Y'all call me greedy if you want to. You call me greedy if you want to. Yep. I keep a bag, a bag of Oreos in my car. Make this thing taste better. Now, if you want chocolate tape, eat some Oreos and drink this beer. Okay. It's just one of them days when a brother just need a beer. I'll be honest with y'all. I'm going to drink this beer. Mm -hmm. Someone play video games a day, so I call them play video games. But before I play video games, I need a beer. <laughs> Not saying that, I just need one. It's been one of them days, man. You know what I'm saying? Some days you just need a beer in your life. Mm. Pass me a cookie. Mm. So start a ball. Tell me. I'm standing here like... Rick Ross, the boss and shit. <laughs> How was y'all day today? Damn, I broke the ice. In mm. Okay. Pop goes the weed up. <laughs> Miz is crazy as hell. Y'all know that, man. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to make this quick. To the point. Gingling's Hershey Chocolate Porter it is great. has good flavor to it. I've been waiting for this beer. And I finally got it. And I'm impressed. If you telling me that I'm nasty because I'm eating cookies and drinking beer, don't judge me. Judge Joe. <laughs> Word up! For my beer drinkers only, okay? You'll appreciate it if you drink beer. Do not drink this thinking that it's going to taste like chocolate pork, I mean, um, Hershey chocolate. I've come across mugs, and they be like... Go! This don't taste like this. It ain't supposed to. I'm telling you from the door. It's a beer, a porter beer, not a Heineken, not a Corona. Some people, I drink. Oh, I drink beer. I drink Corona. This is a whole nother league of beer. When you start talking about different types of beer, you got to be a beer drinker. You know what I'm saying? With that said. Mr. the Grizz, and I'm signing out. I love all y'all mug and mug ass. Trees up. You know. Salute to y'all. Play video games real quick and then I'm going to see what my cousin up to. I'm going to see what my cousin want to, you know, go out and have a drink. You know what I'm saying? Hey! This England, this beers, 
Shout out to my homegirl, Angela Eats TV. This bed for you.